All right. This is the time. Gervonta Davis is roundly criticized as a duck. He is blasted daily on every social media platform for a multitude of issues. And it has been the case for the last several years. And it is a result, I do believe, of a miscalculation by Al Heyman. And if Al Heyman is to retire because Jamal Charlo said, hey, he has been sick. And we know that he is 67 years, 60 plus years old, significantly older than me. So we know that there will be a time when Al Heyman will not be with the PBC. And in this video, I'm going to lay down some hard truths to the PBC about what they need to fix, because it is clear that Gervonta Davis is not being treated right. And Gervonta Davis and other fighters like Errol Spence Jr., like Deontay Wilder, that there were some protections that were not able to be given to them by the PBC under this new attack model on YouTube and social media. So for everybody that all wanted me to tell you what I think Al Heyman is doing wrong and how I should criticize him. Well, here you go. We about to go for a ride. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Fanon. And in this video, we're going to talk about Gervonta Davis, who has one of the best careers of anybody in boxing right now is one of the most exciting and most popular fighters in boxing right now. However, he is also the most maligned, the most misunderstood, the most um, propagandized fighter that there is in boxing today. And this is, and as a result, it is very hard for boxing fans, for new boxing fans, to join the ranks of Gervonta Davis fans as long as these entities stand around Gervonta with blowhorns, telling them to go away from him and not to, not to be a fan of his as loud as they possibly can. Because that is what's been going on with Gervonta Davis for at least the last several years. And, you know, when you're in business, you got to say, hey, if it happens once, shame on me. If it, hap- if it happens once, shame on you. If it happens twice, shame on me. So as we prepare to go into this next round of attacks on black fighters in America with absolutely ridiculous narratives that are not based in fact at all and can be easily debunked if you spend about four hours tearing through all the lies these people show, you will see that Gervonta Davis needs a new path. Now, what is that? And what do I mean? The first time it happened that I saw this happen with Gervonta Davis, Gervonta Davis was being attacked by Devin Haney fans, consistently attacked by Devin Haney fans, consistently attacked for everything that he did in social media. Well, guess what? Who do you think paid for that? Many people say the person that paid for that was Bill Haney because Bill Haney and Devin Haney were the ones that were attaching themselves to Tank and running Tank's name down every chance they could get, right? But you have to think, where did the money come from to do that? Where was the original source of that money to do that? Well, the original source of that money is DAZN because DAZN pays Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn pays Devin, and then Devin does what he does in in social media and gets all these channels, works with all these channels, bots these channels, and all of a sudden you're surrounded with this massive information around anything to do with, with, with Devin Haney. Okay, so first time for me, it was shame on Devin. But now as I see it with Turkey Alashik and in super heavy duty mode, if this takes place with, if this allow is allowed to continue, 
with Javante Davis and they don't find a way to counteract this social media narrative in some proactive way that really does allow boxing fans to enjoy Javante, he will and he will continue to be closeted in his potential popularity as long as they don't do something, actually do something about it. Now, what am I talking about? If you notice, there are now literally YouTube channels that are directly contracting with the rehab season. And how do you know this? Because they are actually allowed in their videos to show extended clips of fights with Anthony Joshua and and, um, Daniel Dubois. Extended, uncut clips. Let me tell you, if you are a supporter of Gervonta Davis, what the PBC would do to you for that. The PBC would immediately take all your revenue for that conversation, immediately. Al Heyman, if you use any footage belonging to Al Heyman, will snatch, will snatch all your revenue from your video. So you will, and now, before, long time ago, you might have actually got a copyright strike. He never put copyright strikes on people. But what he did do was he didn't allow you to use any of the revenue. So what does that do? That disincentivizes people from talking about your fighter in a positive way, right? Because you want ownership of all the clips of all the videos and you're not letting people even make positive statements about that. Well, guess what, PBC? That is going to drive people into the arms of of your enemies because they're going to allow them to do it. They're going to allow them to bring in more fans onto their channel by being able to show actual live foot fight footage, footage in their actual videos. While the PBC and Heyman Boxing would, without a doubt, take every dime from an American uh, American YouTube channel that wanted to do that. Now, that makes sense 10 years ago. It doesn't make sense now. Now, with these other channels that are coming up and these people that you support and you know want Javante Davis to do well, these up-and-coming YouTube channels, you have to empower these guys to help you. You can't just sit on the sideline and think that they are going to help these American fighters for their own goodwill. They're not going to do it. They, me, I have enough size where I can literally do a visit about a, a video about Gervonta Davis, and I can be cool. I can hold a, a, a live stream about Gervonta Davis or about about Gary Russell Jr. About and I can be I can be okay. That's there's not that many of me. So when I'm saying the criticism of the PBC relative to Gervonta is them not empowering more people to be able to positively represent their fighters in these YouTube streets, because these YouTube streets are being bought up by Turkey Alashik. They're being bought up by by um, the other promoters. These ring magazine, these guys have been rewarding these people for for trying to help these fighters. But what do American boxing channels that want to help the PBC on social media, what do they get out of the PBC? Almost next to nothing. You get to stand in line to get a ticket to maybe be able to be a press person to a fight. What I'm telling you is they losing the they are losing the battle of public perception. They are winning the battle for sure, winning the battle of the finances. They're winning the battle in the on the balance sheet. But you have to understand, there is stresses in the life of a boxer. There are things that will drive boxing fans away from your fighter. And if you allow these narratives to be going around and around unchecked by prohibiting people from actively representing those fighters in a positive, honest way, by a little assistance from the people that are getting paid by what, for what they're doing, that is what's going to kill all this narrative stuff flying around. Once you empower your fans to actually be able to help tank in these, in these YouTube conversations, in these YouTube streets. Because let me tell you, I do it every day and it's one against a thousand. It's one against a thousand. And I can do it. And people see me do it every day. That's cool. But you're not. But guess what? Everybody else coming up behind me, because look at this gray beard. Man, I'm 55 years old, bro. I'm not doing this for another 15 years. The PBC, the PBC will want to be in business or they're going to want these fighters to be in going strong for decades and decades. But yet you're allowing these people to tear down the reputations of future fighters and you're not even lifting a finger to help them. 
You're not letting, you're not doing anything for the deems. You're not doing anything for deem to help deem spread a positive word about your fighters. Meanwhile, Eddie Hearn is doing everything he can do for YouTube channels, getting on YouTube channels, doing interviews on YouTube channels. Bill Haney, same thing. Turkey al literally funding YouTube channels. But not y'all. But then the fans got to sit up here and listen to this stuff. No. First time I see it happen, shame on Devin Haney and shame on Devin Haney's crew. Second time, shame on the PBC. You've got to find a way to get these people up out of people's ears so they can enjoy your fights, man, without being nagged to the ground. But if you don't care, that's fine because the PBC's bank account is going to be fine. But the pressure you put these fighters under, the fact that these young kids got to hear all this shit 24 hours a day, you're going to have kids start drinking. You're going to have people start slapping people. You're going to have all kind of pressure in these people's life because of the stuff going on at them and uh, the social battering that they take on social media. And without anybody standing up to to at least indirectly affect it, you're relying on people's goodwill, like my goodwill to do it. No, there's not other, there's not going to be a lot of people that are willing to do that. So again, this social media thing in YouTube is not what it used to be. The biggest problem I see with the PBC is the PBC's lack of willingness to address those problems for those fighters and not just for those fighters, for the fans of those fighters and for the fans of the PBC that do want to be able to engage in honest conversations on the Internet, honest conversations on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, without being inundated by these lies that are being funneled consistently with absolutely no pushback from anybody that could be in a like situation to help balance it out. Anyway, that's my take on the matter. People wanted me to criticize Jermont. I'm going to criticize that one because I am listening way too much and I am seeing what's going on. The PBC got to step up and they got to step up with the media. They got to step up with the media. They got to step up with the YouTube channels. They got to step up with the, with the, You are okay selling your fights over there, but y'all got to get into the conversation, get into the conversation and allow these young people to to allow these people to feel like they can participate in this new ecosystem of independent um, content creators that empower black fighters and American fighters and can do so knowing that they have full support of those fighters and of those organizations who, who which they enjoy and whom they are fans of. And not be have to compete with and be subject to this absolute manipulation, phony BS coming up out of Europe being poured on the head of American fight fans. That's my take on the matter. I had a vent video on this one because I thought to myself, man, you know what, dude, none of this really matters to me. I can just keep taking advantage of the fact that so many people are lying and so many people are getting paid and just say nothing about it and just keep making the videos, debunking their videos, debunking their logic. I can do this shit for the next 20 years of cooking that, of cooking this. But the fact of the matter is it'll be me cooking it for 20 years and the shit's going to keep getting worse and worse and worse. And they're not, then me and people like me are just going to be a small minority of people that are really talking the game. Because if you didn't know, there are a lot of YouTube channels that used to be around that are no longer around. They are no longer around because they stopped because they had no support from you guys to support them in this social media land. And social media land, social media is not getting smaller. It's getting bigger. It's not it's not falling off in relevance. It's becoming more ubiquitous. It's really, truly becoming television for the minds in the minds. And these people like me or younger people coming up behind me, these guys are actually being seen as stars. And and Al Heyman and whoever the older people are that are running PBC need to start understanding that and acting like that, because, dude, people are going to give up on you, bro. And you're going to start seeing those those things tapping on your numbers eventually because they got you surrounded and they're just inundating you with misinformation every day. Full channels with misinformation all day being paid and given jobs for doing so. But you all don't lift a finger for these young YouTube channels that have been supporting you for years. Not me. The young YouTube channels, the smaller YouTube channels, the ones that are really the young guys around the same age as Gervonta that are rocking with him or trying to rock with Lamont Roach. Look what happened to Lamont Roach and how his name was torn down. You bit almost you, you with complete unanimity within the boxing community when he fought Gervonta. That's a PBC fighter. Where's the echo chamber for, echo chamber for Lamont Peterson? Nowhere. 
Anyway, I guess he just got a deal. Hey, man, you get the money, don't worry about it. Well, guess what? That was cool in the 60s and the 70s and 80s when you could walk outside and nobody would bother you. No, nah, today it's on your phone. It's constant. It's around you. You got to deal with what the reality is today. And don't think that maybe some of the stress your fighters are having, some of the drinking Jamal's doing, some of the things that are leaving people to be inactive could have do, something to do with the psychological pressure that's pouring on these guys from the media that's attacking them. And it's not good enough all the time just to say, hey, just be happy with your money. No, nah, I, how am I going to be? You, I care about my reputation, too. And these people are ripping it up and the PBC is not doing anything to defend it on any systematic basis. Kind of get lucky. Maybe you'll get a YouTube channel that's a, that's a talented orator and they can help you out. At least that's what it seems like for me looking at Lamont Roach, looking at some of these fighters. And I love the PBC. I love the model that they use. And I know that, that um, Al Heyman is a brilliant businessman, obviously. But business models change. And the significance of social media is not that easy to understand. I'm 55. It's not that easy for me to understand all of the ways in which people can monetize on social media, right? Because it's a new model. So Al Heyman and the PBC may not want to have to deal with that model because it's new and they don't fully understand it, but it doesn't matter. The young kids that you're bringing up have to deal with the realities of it. So help them out. Give them some freaking interviews, man. Give some people some real fucking interviews, man. Give some people some conversations, some big time. Let let them put some footage on their channel. Let them do something. Help them build something, Al. Anyway, that's my take on the matter. And I'm telling you, I don't need it. In case any of y'all think it's me, it ain't me. I don't need it. I'm good. I can, I'm what you what they say. I'm Gucci. I can put up a video. I can put up a video, get 10,000 views, 20,000 views. If I really pop it off, get 100,000 views. I can go to Twitter and spaz out on Twitter and get 100,000 views on Twitter. I can do that. I'm good. But bro, I don't feel like being the only one doing it. So would you mind PBC? Would you mind Al? Would you mind whoever you are, Steven, whoever you are? Would you mind putting some gas behind these young men so, <laughs> so that they can deal with this fake ass dude over here doing these comedy fucking ske- sketches? Dogging the shit out of Tank and don't know fuck about boxing, Steve? <laughs> anyway, man, I saved the best to the end. I'm watching this stuff, man. This is, sh- again, one time shame on me. Two, well, one time shame on them. Two time shame on me. At a certain point in time, I'm going to start lighting up the PBC if they, don't, if they don't start killing this nonsense out here in the street. Because for real, that's, ju- that's important. That's important. You got to find a way to do it, man. Because you're going to lose a fan in me. Because I'm not working that dang on hard anymore, bro, trying to, trying to dismantle all these lies. When the people that are benefiting from the lie and being hurt by the lie ain't taking the time to do it themselves. Because they don't care. Because they're like, hey, man, we're getting our money. And our pay-per-views are doing well. Hey, the reality of it is we're doing well. Yeah, the reality of it is doing you well financially. But the reality is you're not doing well in the public perception. And that means something too. Anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.